Is there really new fees attached to people with high credit? Not exactly. Yes, there are some new loan level pricing adjustments, LLPAs is what we call them, um, that have been introduced for high people with putting more down and higher credit. Um, and these are being lowered for people with lower credit and lower down. So is this a punishment on people who have this money? Not necessarily. What the objective of this is, is to just limit uh, or to narrow the gap between where high credit borrowers are at and low credit borrowers. So if this was the divide, basically these new loan level pricing adjustments want to narrow it um, to make it more affordable for first time home buyers, people with lower credit, people with lower down. Um, you could definitely make the argument of, is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? Um, I'm not going to take a stance here, but I really just want to provide clarity on what this stuff means. So I'm surprised that this news is just coming out because this was introduced to us probably two months ago. We probably did talk about it on like social media or something, but really um, it hasn't had an overall major impact on our business. Um, and the reason it was introduced to us so early is because it was for any loans delivered after May 1st, which means if there was a loan that closed after April 1st, more than likely it's going to be delivered within 30 days of of that time, or they want to make sure that it's delivered by May 1st. Delivery dates is basically just means from the time that the loan closes and to the point where the loan is sold or transferred off to the investor. Um, there's a certain time period that that has to be done. So it's any loans delivered after May 1st. So are people really getting a discount? Not really. Um, the, the amount of LLPAs that it was for people with like 620 credit with low down was really, really high. So all this is doing is just improving the cost for those people. Like I said, narrowing the divide. Um, but does it feel like a punishment for people with high credit? Potentially. Um, but obviously you can see here, um, here's what the changes are. So if you're like putting 15 to 20% down with 740 credit or 720 to 759 credit, um, it got 75 basis points worse for somebody like that on pricing. Um, and this doesn't mean just like, hey, your rate just got worse. The way to think about it is if the rate was at par and um, the 75 basis point or 0.75% um, LLPA got added, it would just cost 0.75 points to get the same rate. It's an easy, simplified way to think about it. It's not like that in every scenario, just an easy way to think about it. Um, and you can see in the outright, you know, it's still really much more expensive for somebody with lower credit putting less down um, compared to someone with a good credit and putting more down. So it's not an overall punishment, but it is the change was about the divide was about double than what it is now. So they just want to promote more affordability um, for these people with lower credit, lower down. So um, just something to think about, but just want to bring some clarity. And if you're not sure or whether this affects you or somebody that you know or someone that you know has, is buying, feel free to give me a call. Um, for first-time home buyers, depending on the program, these loan level pricing adjustments might be completely waived. Um, so if someone's out there quoting rates without knowing what even income might be, that could be way off. I mean, with first time home buyer programs, a rate could be almost a half a percent different um, if they waive all LLPAs. So make sure that if you see that stuff out there and you're not sure whether it's legit or not, let me know. I'll take a look at it um, and provide some clarity on that.